This is WTMJ TV Channel 4 Milwaukee, and it's kind of a news for noon scene, but it's Monday, February 5th, 1933. Good evening, I'm Pete Wilson alongside Joanne Williams in news. What's happening on news for noon scene at noon time? Washington, D.C. in an unusual Sunday statement of the Nixon Administration Committee on Interest and Dividends to crowd and boost and prime London rate by four large banks and called it a government data to justify the rise. The Committee on Unit of the Cost of Living Council said that it do not regret that the increase in the prime London rate to six and a quarter percent from six percent. The committee said it was requesting each other the banks to provide full information on cost and earnings along with any calculation that may have used to justify the increase in the lending rate. The prime lending rate is an interest that commercial banks charge their most creditworthy customers and consumer interest rates and scaled upward from the prime rate. The committee headed by Federal Reserve Board Chairman Arthur F. Burns said that higher marginal costs of the funds from sensitive market sources should not unduly influence sensitive interest rates. The statement applied to banks' costs of federal funds and certificates of deposit, among other things. The panel said it was convening a group of technical experts to monitor the costs and influence in the institutional lending rates. It is found most recent and step taken by the committee since it was established by the president during the wage price free scale watch interest rates, which have never been controlled under the president's economic programs. For most banks, the prime lending rate is still 6%. At 6.25%, it would be above the level that existed just before the freeze. In Milwaukee, Al C. Cole, president of First Net Wisconsin National Bank of Milwaukee, said that the bank officials will probably discuss the prime interest rate on Monday. We have not reached a decision in this time to raise the prime rate, Cole said. John H. Kelly, president of Midland National Bank, and noted that the major East Coast banks had not raised their prime rate. Most banks followed the lead of the large Eastern banks. Kelly said it would be doubted that the Midland would be raising its prime rate unless the increase became general. Take your time then, there's no rush. Governor Lucy was asked Sunday by the former mayor of Milwaukee to help ease tensions and improve conditions in a two. When you follow your North Side Area Parks, where two Milwaukee policemen were fatally shot last week. The request was made in a letter sent to Lucy by Frank P. Zedler, now president of the Central North Community Council, Incorporated. Zedler asked the governor to make careful inquiry into the situation and designate staff officials of good judgment who can aim the local authorities with the people to create an atmosphere of both security and goodwill. Zedler, who frequently has been at odds with Mayor, Mayor as said he was asking Lucy for help because my past experience leads me to believe that the the city administration is not going to act constructively in that matter. But this is nothing compared to the way Dad reacted. He must have gone ballistic. Sunday was the kind of day that made you wish it didn't fall. Saturday night, you knew it was going to be that kind of day when the neighbors unleashed their kids at 8 a.m. and they start playing in World War II. Usually, the area outside your bedroom window for Normandy. Meanwhile, the two little men inside your head were using each eyeball as a kettle drum, and your better half was mumbling something about the. Being a perfect day to clean the garage or visit her mother. These are the kinds of alternatives that are good divorce cases are built on. But because of she made a good cup of coffee, which we're desperate to need. And because you wouldn't do your much good argue, you opted for the garage detail. For the divine, you open in the door and were hit in the face with a splash of sun and a bush of warm. Tragedy in the garage, you decided it was no day to be pushing a boom. This was April, the beginning of February, and why you let it go away. And after all, we may not get another day like this until the middle of June. So you put your wife, the dog, and assorted children in the back seat of the car, and instead of visiting mother in law, you drove over to the zoo when other folks at 6,835 talk to the residents on Monkey Island. You get rid of little back talk from my residents at Monkey Island. While you feed the elephants another bag of peanuts all over the city, Christmas bikes got early tryouts. New mothers wheeled around less years late to deliveries. Puppies got their first run on Bradford Beach and autos got a rare mint water and warm. Wash. When the diners exercise their frustration in the rinks at State Fire Park. Paul just will have more than the weather in a couple of minutes. Washington, D.C. Senator Henry M. Jackson, Democrat of Washington, Sunday called for a prompt U.S. diplomatic recognition of mainland China and seven informal diplomatic ties with Taiwan. I'm leading the next logical step for the country to recognize mainland China, said the Jackson, an influential member of the Armed Services Committee. The Henley and advocate of a strong national defense he added that it is ridiculous and contrary to our best interests not to have recognition problems solved in a time. We should move without delay. Santa Clara, California, that old refrain. Life begins at 40 May not 
be entering on wishful thinking. John King is a director at the University of Santa Clara's Council Center has gathered. Some statistics that should give the middle age a lift and a youth called a jolt. They appear to show that a person gets smarter as he grows older. King has said that the mean IQ of 48 persons were at about 20 points between the first time they were tested at preschool age and the recent test in the middle age. King is 29 said that the findings seem to be the belief of some opposed that they should get rid of people at 40 because they are over the hill and that's they should always go to the younger man. People tend to have a self-image and they become what they envision themselves to be. If you assume you are going and when downhill, you will. At least, however, our study indicates that people consider to grow and develop and remain just be the... So you can teach an old dog new tricks and can't have psychologists. The 48 persons tested there among the group of 2 and 12 who were residing in the San Francisco Bay Area in 1931 when it went on, were 2 to 5 years old. The children were... Given an incentive for Bennett IQ test at the Department of Nature Wide Testing Program to establish norms for a revision in the standard Bennett scale. They were scheduled to give a cross section of population in the first test in 1931. The group had a mean IQ of 1 in 10.07 to 1 in 10.7. Catherine Bradway, a San Francisco psychologist, saw that as many as original group as could be found and tested them again in the next point when the mean IQ had risen to 113.3. And again in 1956 when the mean IQ rose to 1.4.1. While studying his doctorate at Washington State University, Kang has obtained Miss Bradway's permission to bring the figures up to the name in the situation. He located and gave the test in 1968 and 69 to 48 persons and divided the group between men and women in the area. Mean IQ of 130.1. ML3 is a test the age range from 39 to 44. Kang has said what well, can be assumed that the IQ continues to be rise after age 44. He said in psychology after studying improvement stopped at age 15, the figure was revised up with age train five in the late 1940s. It's odd to me held open as possibly that the group wouldn't be overhill in age 65, but that would be unknown till they will get there and then attest it. He said that in some point psychological situations such as hardening and the arteries supply, the brain probably reverses the resident IQ curve. Analysts for the test scores for 48 persons showed that among men that the higher the pre adult of IQ meaning they more than they gained in the later years among women, however, the waivers was true. King said that the right that it's women might have been grown less because the housewife was less stimulated than them as work career for the man. In Dolly India, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi reshelled the cabinet Sunday but made no major changes. Oh, <laughs> it says here that if we divorce, you get 50% of everything I own. That seems fair. U.S. officials in Saigon said Sunday night that the first group of American prisoners of the war held in jungles along the South Vietnam Cambodian border will be released in the wake in the Anlock area in the, but north of Saigon and nearest point on the Cambodian border. The officials also said that the U.S. and Viet Cong had tenderly agreed on that. At least one and never signed in the Saigon and in the two sites in the Mekong Delta, including the Vietnamese force for the release of American BOWs. Meanwhile, U.S. Air Force the 90 especially equipped had a medical aviation prisoners of medical aviation flew Sunday from Clark Air Force Base in the Philippines to Saigon's 10 Sun North Air Base. It was run off 25 minutes and then took off again. Was destination one mission was not revealed. Oh, your Sunday.